Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some pretty big news when it comes to Best Buy, where there actually is a restock that's actually ongoing right this second. We're going to be having some links down below, so we'll be talking about that throughout this video. So if you just want to go check down below, you guys totally can. As well, we also have some pretty big news too, as well. I'm going to probably put like a little bit of restock news in part two, a little bit of other gaming news as well, because we also have some pretty big updates when it comes to God of War, God of War Ragnarok, and a few little various things that have kind of been floating around all throughout the day. And as well, we kind of had a lot of stuff trending too, as well, because it actually has been the fourth year anniversary for the game itself coming out, so I'm pretty hyped up for that one. So we have a little bit of restock news, a little bit of gaming news, a little bit of other various stuff too as well. So if you guys will stay tuned and enjoy. As well, if any of you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. As well, for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway, Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc digital console controller. Twitter and Twitch stream as well, link down below and sign up for Weeble, sign up for Coinbase, and I appreciate you guys all so much for watching. Let's go dive into the video itself. So the very first thing I want to go touch on over here, and although it's not like the craziest, craziest news, I still think it's actually pretty good news nonetheless for what we're going to be talking about like in the part two of this restocking news. So, the very first initial thing is I want to go mention that as of even right now of us recording this video, the Xbox Series X is actually our proper, normal, individual retail numbers are going to be linked down below because they actually have been in sale as of earlier on today. They went out of stock for a little while and now they're back in stock too as of today. So I'm going to be having the link down below. It should be like a shop link down below. If you guys want to click on it, I'll make sure to put like a little pinned comment uh, either in the description or the comment section because I do know a lot of folks actually even when I was promoting out the Amazon Xbox Series X drop a lot of folks were getting them. And funny enough, every single other big retailer as of now, I checked my uh, target as of right now and the stock seems a little bit more on the smaller side. Amazon Amazon themselves have been sold out, and even Walmart has actually been having issues too with their stock. So the Xbox Series X is still in pretty big demand. So as you guys all know, kind of like a big, like we'll talk about PlayStation 5 stuff in a second for Best Buy, but in case any of you guys do want to go pick up your consoles, the links will be down below and they should be in stock. Although it is on the regional side, and I did make sure to go tweet it on out, so definitely make sure you guys follow up the Twitter. Uh, but I did have a chance to go mention this, and we actually had quite a few confirms, quite a few folks getting their consoles. And like I said, we put out a community post as well up on YouTube. So I'd probably say this is a very, very nice, good option to go get your Xboxes. As I've mentioned, a lot of them have still been selling out pretty quick. And funny enough, I've even had like a bigger influx of people making YouTube comments, stating how they still want some more Xboxes. Xbox Series X's. So at the end of the day, kind of nice to go and see Best Buy having a proper good online restock. So as I mentioned, if you guys want to check them on out, they'll be linked down below if you guys want to pick them on up. I would probably say go, like I said, go a little bit quicker because just because online orders have been a little bit more on the rougher side. Although we still have been seeing sporadic times of them still having them in shelves. So if you guys just want to go and check and see your local store and just drive on by, feel free to. But this is a little bit better because in comparison to say Target, where sometimes Target would have them on shelves, like we physically see them on shelves. Uh, it's better when it's online order and then you order it and buy it because you kind of know that, well, the console's going to be coming. <laughs> so, like, you, you basically have it locked in on email and email proof and all of that. So, number one, that's very good to see. If you just want to get your Xboxes down below, do it before they do run out of stock. Now, as well, the big reason why we've mentioned this, too, is PlayStation side. So, as you guys have heard maybe from some various leaks that Best Buy did actually have, on the East Coast, a pretty substantial amount of PlayStation 5 stock arriving in their warehouses. Now, it's not 100% guaranteed because we still have the next two more days, and as well, all these retailers have been a little bit more on the scarier and middle ground side. I just want to let you guys know we'll still be anticipating up a PlayStation 5 restock whether it's on the total tech or just normal restocks whatsoever, very, very soon. We're watching both of those all throughout the day. So ideally, well, we'll see if they will have one. It's been a very, very long time since we've had a proper PlayStation Online restock, but I do think the fact that there's Xboxes in stock and Xbox Onlines and additional drops and, like, enough stock to have a double whammy restock, that I think the likelihood of a PlayStation 5 drop bumps up a lot. Now, it's not guaranteed. So, you know, sometimes you have to wait for other regions to get stock. Usually online drops are more nationwide instead of just local locales. And as you guys have heard probably a lot, we have been seeing a lot of Best Buy walk-ins throughout the past three weeks. And a lot of those were entailing more PlayStation 5 consoles. So I think that does kind of pertain more to maybe a slightly lower chance of them having an online drop these next few days. But at least, as I mentioned, with Xboxes in stock. And if you guys want to go pick one up, leave a comment down below. Or if you guys don't even, if you just want to be like, eh, I'm, what, I'm whatever on it, leave that also a comment down below too. I just always like knowing what you guys are still trying to go buy and get. Obviously, like I said, it's still region dependent, so it depends on that. But at least we'll maybe still be watching that throughout the next two days. It'll probably be your big focus when it comes to consoles.
Hills and Reese Ducks. And as well, we also did go talk about some online walking stuff too, so check that video on out afterwards. We'll play any touchdown throughout the next few days. But overall, always good to see Xbox with stock on hand, and hopefully PlayStation 5s will follow suit, because I think a lot of you guys do deserve your PlayStation console, so especially because it's all retail. Like, I usually like to stress the retail ones, too. You can probably find an easy one and say Ant Online, but there'll be bundles, or even GameStop, but bundles. So, normal retail price of $499.99. I love to go and see it. Now, we do have a few other little various things I'm going to go talk about gaming news, though, too, as well. Probably one of the biggest things that you guys would probably want to see is, as of today, we've had God of War kind of be in the news a lot. We saw a lot of comments, we saw a lot of news, we also saw the four-year anniversary. And when it comes to consoles and people trying to get their consoles and everything, it's kind of big. Like, I think it's kind of a big deal, obviously. But for this one, this is going to be one of those games that I cannot wait to play. And if for some odd reason this gets delayed, I would cry for God of War Ragnarok. Mainly because we don't have too many other games, at least as of now. We're still waiting for, like, a Sony conference, Xbox conference, trying to get new games or whatever. But earlier on as of today, we had Bruno go and tweet out some stuff saying, Bruno, or a more so response, Bruno, please reassure us that it will come out this year 100% and don't show me anything at this point. So this is like this has been like one of the delays because people are kind of curious to see if the game's gonna get delayed or not. People are hoping not, but as you guys know, with like just the pandemic, the world, everything all around, the stock has been a little bit on the rougher side. We haven't been seeing like we've been seeing a lot of games getting delayed, a lot of buggy launches, and I think you guys could all collectively agree if this game was buggy. I'd probably spend a few weeks crying about it after making a bajillion YouTube videos about it and crying myself even more. But as of right now, we do have Bruno himself responding, stating. God of War Ragnarok for the PS5, PS4, is coming this year. Now, we did have a lot of leaks when it came to dates. Like, we saw a September 10th date. We've been watching that pretty closely, although that was a few months back, but that's been, like, the leak slash, like, expected dates. It would maybe line up pretty well, though, when it comes to the holidays. You'd have, like, maybe one or two months for normal folks, and then you'd also have maybe holiday deals and bundles with the PlayStation 5 console. So we'll probably have just to wait for a proper state of play and proper Sony conference. We have been closely watching one throughout the next few weeks. So hopefully it'll happen sooner rather than later, and I can't wait to see more games that are kind of on the overdue side. Like, we don't really have that many games to be on the lookout for, that many games to watch. So I'm kind of in the mood where I want to have some cool games to be on the lookout for. But on the same topic of not that many games coming out, we actually had a lot of cool stuff. So number one, Naughty Dog, you know, the good old big developer over here, actually now has plans on for more Uncharted games. So the studio is building future teams for not only new titles, but for the legacy of Uncharted. So kind of cool little nifty news when it comes to PlayStation side, where a newly appointed recruiter at Naughty Dog has seemingly hinted that Sony is planning future Uncharted releases. On Tuesday, Christina Marie Drake McBarty announced on LinkedIn that she had joined the studio this month as a primary recruiter. In her official post, McBurney said she is scouting for talent at every level, and it's special being able to build building future teams for not only new titles, Great news to hear for PlayStation, Xbox, and all that, but also for Uncharted Legacy of that. So expecting a lot more games to tie on in. So as you guys have seen, we actually haven't had a proper good one in a while, because it's been more on the 2017 side. Although we have had some remakes and remasters that everyone released earlier on this year, we wouldn't mind having a new game, new IP, new multiplayer, or anything of the sort. So very cool to go and see that they basically have a lot of, uh, you know, love tied on in with this one. And it's a world they want to see more of, so even more better games in the near future. So very, very happy to see, especially with how good the movie did as well. I think this has a lot of good potential. And on top of that, too, we also have even more stuff in regards to new Avatar Frontiers game, where they actually have playtesters now, which does kind of seem like the game is moving pretty good in terms of development, especially as the Avatar movie that no one's looking forward to is kindly finally coming in the near future. And as well, we also have a brand new Sonic remake, although nothing crazy. This is based on the OG original Sonic games. Bally also, once again, based on the really big Hollywood basic success for the Sonic movie. They also have a new game coming out June 23rd for all the OG Sonic games coming on out. And then last but not least, we even had even more PlayStation 5 players surprised with even more really cool stealth releases. We've also been seeing some rumors too as well, we'll maybe cover this up maybe tomorrow, that a lot of really big PlayStation 5 games should be either coming soon or leaked, etc, etc. So I'm kind of hyped up for this. So, this game was actually in regards to Scourgebringer for the PlayStation 5 too, and although it's more on the indie side, it's just nice to see that a lot of these games on PS5 have been slowly being released, same on PS4, and a lot of these really big game development stuff such as God of War and other various games 
are coming soon. So a lot of really cool news, plus also the restacking news as well. So kind of give me all of your thoughts and comments down below. And as well, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. As well, for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway, Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc digital console controller. Twitter and Twitch stream as well, link down below. And sign up for Weeble, sign up for Coinbase, and I appreciate you guys all so much for watching. And once again, Xbox links down below if you guys want to check them out. And let me know if you guys do cop one or not. Love you guys all so much, and I'll see you guys up on the next one.